Today's adventure brings us to Merrimack State Park near Sullivan, Missouri. We stayed right here at the campground, so stick around for a tour. When you arrive at the campground, you will come to the check station and there will be awesome park personnel here to greet you and help you get checked into your site. This campground is huge. There are some sites that are completely primitive. Some have electric only, some electric with water, and some with electric water and sewer. Here's site 52 with 50 amp service only. This is an example of the bathhouses that are at the campground. This is Shower House 1. There is a facility for men and women. These ones are ones that are separate. Inside the bathrooms, you're going to find that there are like double sink areas for washing hands. And then there are four or five shower stalls. Again, just the typical concrete type style ones that will serve the purpose. And then on the opposite side of the bathroom, there are about four or five toilet stalls. There are several parking spots at the shower house. Because the campground is so large, a lot of people are gonna need to drive up if they don't wanna take a long walk to the showers or to the restrooms. So there are on both sides of the shower house, quite a few parking spots available. The roads that go through the campground are mostly paved, but some of the spots uh, have sort of worn out. And so, although great for bikes, maybe not perfect for little kids on scooters. Site 60 is an example of a completely primitive site with no services. It does have nice proximity to the shower house and it does have a beautiful wooded site, but no water, no electric, no sewer. There are some beautiful, enormous trees here at the campground. This burr oak is over 300 years old and is absolutely massive. One of the most unique features at Merrimack State Park, which is right next to the campground, is Fisher Cave. This cave has all kinds of amazing formations in it, and during certain times of the year, you can actually go inside. So usually starting in late May and going through early fall, when you go to the check station, they're gonna tell you the times that the cave is open. There is an admission fee. It is $6 for kids, $8 for teens, and $10 for adults, and they have the cave open typically from anywhere from two to four times a day and you can go in, it's a lantern tour, so they give you uh, handheld lights that you use to give you a more natural feel of the cave, so it's not like a touristy cave, and it's incredible, so it might be something you wanna take advantage of when you come visit Merrimack State Park. There are multiple short, accessible trails right here at the campground for an easy hike. Another nice feature at Merrimack State Park is the amphitheater, which you'll find right behind Fisher Cave. In the evenings during peak camping season, which is typically right after Memorial Day weekend and goes through mid-October, there will be ranger-led programs at the amphitheater on camping evenings on the weekends.
This campground is particularly popular with floaters because of its access to the Merrimack River right along the campground. For those who don't have full hookups at their site, there is a dump station available at the campground. They do have a primitive boat launch here with some parking, and on the Merrimack River, they do allow some small motorized watercraft. We've been impressed at the level of security that we've seen here at the campground. Yep, even this morning, we've seen several park rangers driving through. Well, we made it and we're floating the Merrimack. The Merrimack is actually one of the longest tributaries for the Mississippi River. It goes over 200 miles and drains over 4,000 acres. And we're on a float this beautiful morning and the water is running just the right speed so we won't have to put in a lot of work. Campground is a great launching point for lots of activities to enjoy the Merrimack River. Anything from floating to fishing to boating. We enjoyed a wonderfully quiet float. We had the river to ourselves today. Of course, we were very early in the season and our float this morning left at 9.30 in the morning. So if you want a quiet, peaceful float, do it early in the season or perhaps on a weekday and especially early in the morning is the way to go. If you want a more active party atmosphere, then later in the season, on the weekend, later in the day would be the way to go for you. Another nice convenience of this campground is they do have a concessionaire for floating right here at the state park. So you can go and rent kayaks and canoes and rafts right at the state park store. But there are other concessionaires available in the area if you want a different kind of float. But the one we used here at the state park was great. They were really friendly, easy and convenient to use. Another thing to note about this campground, it really is a good place to unplug because you have no cell signal. None. It is completely dry. <laughs> we did uh, go up the hill back to the store where we could occasionally get a bar uh, to let some texts come in and out, but do not count on any cell signal here at the campground. There was no over the air TV, so no TV, no cell phone, only time to relax and unplug. The Merrimack State Park Campground 
is a family-friendly campground with options for all kinds of campers, whether you have a big rig or just a tent. There are many features that make this extra special, like having floating and caves and amphitheaters. It's a great campground, so if you're in this area of Missouri, give this one a try. Thanks for watching and coming along with us, because today is an adventure day.